So this is a new thing. New things are cool, right? I mean, I saw a lot of videos where people just capture one side from one player's perspective and plonk it on their channel, and I figured I'd try my hand at something similar that's a little less intense, analytically speaking, compared with my other stuff. So the first one here is with Scream on Cash. Well, let's do it. Oh yeah. Alright, so we have Titan on... Well, with a stack really at the back of the site here, which is really interesting as a strategy against you know any quick rushes. But of course, you know a lot of traffic spotted from shocks there, taking down the walk over at B. So you know, scream. He's going to be the guy that's kind of waiting behind. He is going to just check out mid, make sure that nothing's going on over here, and you know no sneaky double backs. And it does seem to be that Fnatic are trying to do that, and Scream's going to catch them here. So you know, typically on the pistol rounds, we're going to see a lot of action like this, where you're going to see that the B or in you know, a rush or mid rush you know the, the T players are going to tend to focus their efforts somewhere because the Glocks are really good on the close and mid ranges but they perform pretty poorly against the long ra longer ranges so they want to close the distance and the best way to do that is going to be to rush together and the Glocks are so good whilst moving as well so it's usually effective and that really explains the movement there and now looking at the second round here the anti-eco we see that Scream's picking up an M4A4 and typically you don't see the rifles coming out on the anti-eco because they're so precious and you don't need one and the risk of dropping it is versus dropping a FAMAS, you know, the implications are, are more, you know, FAMAS is cheaper, it's not a big, as big of a hit money-wise if you do lose it, it's not as big of a hit on the round if you do lose it, because the terrorists won't be able to exploit it as much, but of course the weapons are really easy to cover on this map, his teammates can cover it very easily if he, if he gets dropped here, and he's got support, so it makes a lot of sense for him to go for that more powerful option there, and you know, this was, you know, still in the anti-eco, and they decide to just, you know, run into B and they get mowed down by Scream's teammates. So going into the first gun round here, we see Scream taking this kind of support middle a role he is the support guy between a and middle that's the best way to put it and we have smiths who is orping and scream is there to keep him safe he's there to just play adaptively that's really what we're going to see here you know he's got the, the flash over there you know ready just to to help his teammates out in case there's anything crazy going on and so far there's not much noise and you know fanatic are playing it pretty slow trying to maybe get a pick trying to boost up on the, the spot there on mid, and it looks like Smith is going to take down one and a second one. So that kind of unravels the round for Fnatic now. They've got three players left, and you know, two were spotted out, you know, trying to boost up. You know, usually that's going to mean that A is most most likely going to be what's going to get hit because the options are better when you take over mid for, for A than B. Um, usually, especially if you're you know, boosting like two or three players up there. So it looks to be that, you know, it's a relatively easy cleanup. We're going to see Scream just, you know, easily dealing with that. you got MBK, who's kind of the dedicated A site man there. And it, once again, you see Scream, you know, doing the support role. It's a really great, really great role to play. And you're really getting to see it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of a perspective, just following one guy. Let me know what you think of this. But, you know, moving on, we see Scream. You know, he, he hears, again, you know, more traffic over here. MBK gets taken down. So he he's there to clean things up with with some spray on the AK and it is all good. So round six now and another buy coming in for Fnatic. So we can see that Scream and Smith's getting really badly smoked and flashed here and this really hurts their, their positioning. Look at, like Scream's just trying to get safe there behind the sandbags as was Smith. So you can see how powerful it can be and how annoying it can be to use those grenades on mid and they're making a bit of a power play here on, on A trying to like get through but the counter grenades have been really stopping uh, Fnatic, so really good play from Titan there. Scream, look at this position, his team rotated so quickly, and Fnatic being so slow, we're going to see a ninja action from Scream there, jumping down from that little catwalk, whatever you want to call it. And now, you know, once again, we're going to see Scream just playing support between between uh, mid and uh, A, and he's going to get a kill into Flusher, good, good cover there on Smiths, and this is, I think, a... Really, really good showing. You know, Titan are very strong on the CT side here, so it's very cool to see. And they hear all the information there. They know it's going to be NA, and Scream is just holding this position. Going to see a pop flash. There we go. Got to love the pop flash. It's so strong, so powerful. You really got to try to figure out the best spots to use pop flashes. Like You can do it in so many little locations. You can see him kind of improvising there with that little pop flash. And, and here they're actually going for the element of surprise. They haven't made a push like this before. And looks like 
and not they you know they didn't see anyone there so they can actually do that again and the element of surprise is still there because so far they've been playing a pretty defensively and we're going to see scream you know swinging on back to the the b-bomb site to help help retake the site and he can't really go up high and this is really just you know a slow pushing trying to coordinate with his teammate trying to you know take the one-on-ones and and win the win the bomb defuse situation so he, he sees flush's position there and he, he goes for the flash and he knows it's just flush left he knows where he is and he knows that look at this this is just a timing thing he knows that he can he has enough time to get the bomb defused just by holding it down because flush was you know more towards the spawn there so you know going into the next round we have again similar situations coming in but we got a weak advice weak advice for Fnatic as they're really struggling on the money losing so many rounds they did get the bomb down though and they have you know lots of consecutive round Bo uh, money bonus so it's not so bad but we can see screams leaving smiths in mid now because they've kind of been conditioning Fnatic to just be scared of mid because they've been so strong there and they've never lost a picking situation on mid they've, they've just been a very strong presence overall so now scream you know he can he can play with that a little bit and in fact they're going to see that mbk does actually need some help over here as well and mbk's got a really nice position right there and uh it's going to be scream dying so we'll move on to the next round and Bit of an aggressive push there with one of the players under the boost spot. And he's going to hear all the footsteps. That's really nice there. Scream's job was to cover him. And he did that well enough. And whether or not they won the round, they heard the rush. And that's oh, that's like half of the battle won as the CTs, is to understand what's actually going to happen. And here it is again. The element of surprise. Is there going to be any players here? It looks like there's not. So they can just make the, the flank around really quickly. And the beauty of this is that they can use this again. Because th they didn't see any players. And the, the terrorist side, Fnatic, they didn't didn't see Titan actually do this. So far, every time they've come in A, they've seen a very defensive Titan. So the next time that they, that they actually do a little push like that on the A main area, they are going to be able to really catch Fnatic off guard. Or at least that is, in theory, how it should work. It's a nice little cleanup there as the, uh, the flank proved successful. But the bomb was planted again, but you know, whatever. So round 12, and we're going to see it looks like, yeah, we're going to see this again. So element surprise, and this time it looks like we got some players moving on over there, and th there you go, MBK and Stream going to get those two kills. There is a trade, but still, a lot of information, got the frags, really nice little play. And we're going to see now a similar thing coming in from Scream, but this time he's going to pick the door. And again, this is a, this is due to the fact that they've been so strong on mid, um, although at this, this round we're actually seeing Fnatic pushing on mid, but that's part of the reason, you know, we see Smith, he's been so, so good there, that they can probably presume that, okay, you know, Fnatic are going to take mid a bit slower, maybe they're not going to push mid as much, and... Even if they do, Smith is going to be playing around whatever Scream does. If Scream is not there to support Smith, Smith is going to take positions which allow him to be a bit more defensive, to escape a bit more easily, to take more defensive angles, so he doesn't get picked and taken out. And, you know, that's actually been working out for them. And they've been slowly just kind of suffocating this play, like wrapping around Fnatic. And it's all because of Scream's push here. And, then, and you can see that they're just playing well, very well together. And so far in this match, actually, Scream has been on the A in the mid side, very, a very, very key player. You know, much more dynamic, much more adaptive, whereas, you know, MBK and Smith, a bit more static, but, you know, with that support from Scream, it's working really, really well. And and then you get a bit of slow motion there as he gets taken out. I think it may have been a P to 50. Either way, though, we're going to see um, 15th round, the very last one. And here goes the Molotov, it looks like. And what is he going to do with this? It looks like he is going to block off the path to forklift I mean they can still run there it's not a lot of coverage he's gonna actually smoke off the, the Molotov there that's that's wonderful um, but again you know they're just deconstructing exactly what's gonna happen using good good deduction and slowly but surely picking off all the players again to scream you know big player in this half you know. and again you know Titan they have such a strong strong cash game it's always good to see them playing this one and boom scream gonna get taken down there and there you go very quick video i try to cut out all the time uh, cut out all the downtime and i hope you guys enjoy this one let me know what you think and based on that i'll do more or maybe less um less of less than one is i guess nothing so <laughs> we'll see how it goes let me know guys thanks for watching see you next time